What up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler here. Look at me. Oh, I'm getting pulled in the light. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not. Uh, I'm Tyler from TylerVerAcademy.com. Let me say that again more clearly. TarverAcademy.com. Check it out. Subscribe, if you will. And uh, I would like to thank, thank LearningBird.com for sponsoring this post. What is this post? This post is a video teaching you solving systems of equations by substitution. Substitution. Okay, substitution. Well, hold on substitution. You know what it means, but I'm going to explain it later. First, I want to talk about solving systems of equations. What you're doing is you're taking the equation for two lines, and to solve it, you're finding out the point where those two cross. Okay? We are finding a coordinate where two lines cross. That is the solution we seek. Your coordinate is going to look like this. Parentheses x, comma, y, close parentheses. That's what you're looking for. That's the answer you seek, okay? Now, there's a couple ways to do this. You can do elimination, which I've made videos on and you can check out as well, or substitution, okay? Those are your two main ways you'll use it by hand to solve these, all right? So let's look at an example of substitution. Substitution, what does that mean in a basketball game? If you want to pull somebody out and you'll put in a substitute, you're wanting to put in someone of equal value. That means that you take one out, you put one in its place. They're supposed to equal each other, so it's no change. All right? So, for instance, um, let's look at 4x plus y equals 24, and then 2x minus 3y equals negative 2. Okay? What I want to do is I want to get one of my variables, either this x or that y or this x or that y. I don't care which one. I want to get one of them by itself. That is my ultimate goal. Okay? So, to get one of those by itself, I need to get everything away from it. Just as if I'm doing just like solving multi-step equations and I'm just trying to find um, what y equals. I'm doing the same thing here, okay? But this, we're just going to do something after that, all right? So, it doesn't matter to one. It looks like this one would be our easiest because y is already kind of by itself in the equation, all right? So, I just need to get this to the other side of the equal sign. So, what do you do to get rid of a 4x? positive 4x, so I would just subtract 4x. So this equation is now going to look like this. y equals 24 minus 4x. Okay, all I did was subtract the 4x to this side. It got rid of it over here. It put a minus 4x over here. y equals 24 minus 4x. Okay, I'm going to mark this out so we don't think it's still in play. So these are my two equations. Okay, these are two different lines. I want to find out where they cross. Okay, so as I said earlier with substitution, we know that something is equal to something else. They are supposed to be equal. They're supposed to be the exact same. Therefore, I can always take out that y and put in 24 minus 4x. So in this equation, the other equation, I want to take out that y and put this in instead. So we've got 2x minus 3, and then I'm replacing that. 24 minus 4x equals negative 2. Okay? Now, I have to just solve this problem for x. I'm going to have to, anytime you see parentheses and there's a number hanging out right next door, you know you have to what? Rhymes with shmishmibute, distribute. So I'm going to take my negative 3 and I'm going to multiply there and there. Okay? So now I've got 2x and then negative and 3 times 24, which is 72. And then negative 3 times negative 4, which is positive 12x equals negative 2. Okay? Now I want to combine my like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign. 2x plus 12x was 14x minus 72 equals negative 2. And then I want to add 72 over there. So I've got 14x equals positive 70. And then I divide 14 on both sides. x equals 5. Boom. I am halfway there. I say halfway. I found half of my final answer which is 5. I just got to find the y. I say halfway, but really, you're on the home stretch. All you have to do now is take that 5 and substitute it in to either of your original problems for x, because that's what x is equal to. So I'm going to take either one. Um, let's take this top one. Let me get me some room. Okay. That original problem was 4x plus y equals 24. I know my x is 5, so wherever I see x, I replace that with 5. That's 20 plus y equals 24. Subtract 20 from both sides, y equals 
four. My handwriting's terrible, but your brain is awesome. We found the solution for that set of equations. We want to find out where they cross. On this, if these two lines were put on a coordinate plane, that's the point where they would cross each other. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, you just learned something. Thank you, LearningBird.com, for sponsoring this. Thank you for watching. Check out TarverAcademy.com. Don't forget to get your learn on, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.